the ant. His eyes looking as cute as possible. This is all God's creatures camp. It's a BBS camp for kids. On this video, we're going to try to make an ant using Play-Doh. And I'm going to make a red ant. So this is the closest color I think I have to red. It's a pink. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay. So we're going to start with basic shapes. And we're going to start with the basic shapes of our ant. And we drew an ant. We used basic shapes. We used a circle for the head and an oval for the body and a little teardrop shape for the abdomen. But that's the thorax. Head, thorax, abdomen. Antennas and legs. And there's his little face. His little mouth. Okay, so we're going to start by taking the top off. This is the hardest part for me. Taking the top off. And then getting it out. You know what? I'm going to use a spoon. You might break your spoon, so be careful about that. Probably not the best thing to do. Show you. Close it up. We want to close it all the way up so that it doesn't dry out. Because if you leave it, it will dry out. So I need three parts. I need a circle, an oval, and a teardrop. So it's a, you need a sphere and an egg shape. And I don't know, that was probably the comb. The head's probably the biggest. I'm gonna make a ball out of that. And I showed you how to make a ball when we made the slug. You take one hand and roll it over top of the other. And when you do that in your hands, you can see it making a, a ball, a sphere. You press your hands gently together and one goes around the other. And that makes the ball shape. You wanna keep doing that until it's smooth in your hands. And you can see it while it's doing it. You can see there's just no cracks in it. Then you know you have a nice ball. Make a nice sphere. I really have a hard time making everything stay here, so I'm using a pencil. <laughs> I'm going to need the thorax, which is a little smaller. I'm going to make a ball out of that first. Ball first, and then I'm going to roll it forward and backward a little bit to make it more like a, a little egg shape. And I don't want the cracks, so I'm going to be a little more pressing a little bit harder. Get the cracks out. There you go. So that's the egg shape. That's his egg shape for his thorax. There's that part. And the last but not least is the teardrop shape or the cone shape. Same thing. Roll the ball first. Press it down so you don't have any cracks. Smooth it out. And then you're going to pinch just one end of it. You're just going to pinch one end of it. So this end stays round like an egg, but this end is going to be pointy. So it's just a very gentle pinch. It's not a hard pinch. It's a very gentle. And this hand is just turning it very gently. I'll get my thumbnail prints in there. Fingernail prints. Okay, so now it kind of looks like a little Hershey kiss or a rosebud. Right? Can you see that shape? Like a teardrop shape? My cat's talking to us. So those are the three parts. Now, this is Play-Doh. And I'm not sure how well that sticks together. So, let's see if I can get it to smush just by pinching it together. I don't know if it'll stay. Is that going to stay? It doesn't have a lot of strength, does it? not going to actually stay very well. Hmm, well, I know I'm going to use pipe cleaners to make the legs. I'm going to try to make pipe cleaners use the legs. So, if I put a pipe cleaner in there, I wonder if that's going to make it any, that might make it stronger. But I'm going to have to make it double. So I'm going to take it and double it. And I'm going to twist it to make that stronger. So this hand is going toward me and this hand is going away from me. That's what I'm doing for twisting. I'm 
take a pair of scissors. I'm just going to cut that. Insert this. I want to insert this so that it goes from the tail section to the head section. And you want it to be just the right size. So I think what I'll do is put it in put it in here first. Right in there. Press that in there. Kind of like beads on a necklace. And then right into the head part. You can feel it go through. Oh, there. See, you don't want that. <laughs> you can do that. I don't want that part. It's going to be his mouth. Bring it back just a little bit. Cover that up. And take this part. Ooh, it's all flying. I'll put that right in there. It's too long. You can always adjust it. And you say, how are we going to do that? Well, you can always cut it smaller. You can always cut it smaller. Let's see if I can get that through there. I want it to come up this end. I can always cut that to smaller. Okay. I don't really want the pipe cleaner. Now one thing we probably could do is to put some glue on this pipe cleaner first. And then it wouldn't be so hairy. It wouldn't keep coming off into the clay. But right now, we're just figuring out how to make this work. So I do have a stinger. I can leave it like that and have a stinger. It doesn't look too bad like that. I can take the scissors and trim that up. A pair of wire cutters. You probably don't have a pair of these around, but if you do, a pair of wire cutters. That'll do the trick. <laughs> or you could just leave that little pipe cleaner part out, or you could make it short, shorter to start with. But I'm going to make, make it look like a little pointer. Now they're almost, they are part of the bee family, so they do have a little stinger on their end. Some ants are really poisonous, and they have that venom right in there. There's that. <laughs> my pencil helped me out here. Here we go. There's my pencil. Now, the legs. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, shaped like a Z shape. Hmm. I'm thinking it's going to be stronger if I go all the way through and bend it. So, a brand new one. It's pretty long. Brand new ones are very long. If I bend that in half, that. That's half a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to cut that in half. So one way to cut them in half is with a pair of scissors. So first I'm going to measure them. So they're one, two, so they're 12 inches long. So in half they're six inches long. There, I cut that in half. So I'm going to take this and if I put this through the belly, and I bend it, I'll see what happens. I'm going to put it right here, right toward the front. And I know that the other pipe cleaner is in there, so I'm going to have to go up a little bit so I can go over the other pipe cleaner. So I'm going through here and over to the other side. Well, that's one. Okay. And here's two. I'm going to have to put the third one here in the abdomen, I'm, but I'm going to tell you, on real ants, all three of the, all six of the legs come out of the thorax, not the abdomen. Going up and over, and inside. There's that one, and then one more. There's the third one. Okay. So this is what he looks like so far. He looks kind of like an ant already, doesn't he? I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. I'm gonna work on the antennas. Now I got a bright one from the antennas. You can make them the same color. I just thought it would be fun to have a little more color into there. So I'm gonna make the antennas. Okay, I'm gonna bend this around like that, like a little candy cane hook. There's a little wire in there. It's very sharp. You want to keep that away from your eyes. So I don't need these to be very long. Probably about an inch. Probably about from pointer finger to the first knuckle. 
four, if you want to measure it, it's about an inch and a half. You can make them two inches if you want, about an inch, probably two inches if you're going to count that little part that's round up there. I'm going to put that one right there. You can use glue on this to make it stay in longer. And it's about two inches long. I said it was about an inch and a half, didn't we? About an inch and a half. Put that one right there. So there's this antenna. Can look a little. I'm going to take my spoon again and make his mouth. It's like I'm feeding him to make a mouth for him. Here, eat it up. There you go. There's your mouth. And for eyes, googly eyes. And I told you before that we had to, you need to glue those in. These don't have sticky on them. Some of them come with sticker stuff on them, but I don't have those. I couldn't find those. Just gonna use what you have. The glue wall, it doesn't have as much water in it, so that doesn't that sticks better. And it probably not as easily to reposition. And tacky glue. It's all-purpose tacky glue. That is a little harder to get off too sometimes, but it dries clear. So you can use either one. I'm going to use the school glue. And I'm going to put one little dot on each eye. Doesn't mean, you don't need much, just a little bit. Don't overdo it or you'll have too much on there and then you can make a big mess and it won't stick. It'll slide right off. I'll put that one on there. That side underneath the antenna. You pick it up on my fingernails. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's bouncing all over the place. Oh. And I'll put this right here. A little dot right there. There you go. And here we go. I'm going to put that right there. eyes make him as cute as possible so I'm gonna see if he's strong enough now for us to bend his legs the ant so I'm just gonna come right straight down like this both sides hold it right there and go up and down like a spider leg and then out so it's like a Z there. See the Z? Can you see it? I'm going to hold his belly. You might want to wait a day. Let it dry. And then bend the legs. Just to give it more strength in the body. So it won't collapse. Pinch it. Hold it. Go down. Come back up. So you're holding it here. Go down. And come back up. Alright, let's see if that will stand up for us. Probably not. No, his head's too big. But he does have all legs. So that's good. Not going to stand up for us, though. I think to make him stand up, we'd have to put some glue inside there. If these weren't moving, it would be easier to make him stand up. Yeah, if it was dry, I think it would work. Okay. We'll check him out tomorrow. See if he can do that. Oh, Proverbs 30, chapter 30, verse 25. Proverbs 30, 25. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in summer. Yay, ants! Yay, smart ants! Yay, ants! See you later, little auntie! And subscribe. Bye, little Auntie. God bless you, everybody. Bye, Auntie. <laughs> bye, guys. Have a good night. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye, bye.